So I'm back here in my hometown in Minnesota today and I wanted to show you kind of the yard that I grew up in here to show you kind of what that looks like and I know there's many people that think racing is just going around in circles. If you've never seen a 900 horsepower car go around a dirt track, it's quite an experience. I grew up in a small town in southwest Minnesota called Folda. There's no stoplights, just farm fields and farm country all around. Look at that. Two blocks, that's Main Street. So how do you feel, Ryan, when you like, you drive back into Folda, your hometown? It feels a bit strange with it being as small as it is. I mean, I live in a small town now, so that's kind of, that feels the same, but yet there's really not a whole lot of going on around it, so it feels a little different that way. How, how do you feel about it? Uh, the same, I mean, I don't know. I'm used to the big city life, pretty much. I mean, not that Denver's huge, but we go to a lot of big places for work and stuff. So, I don't yeah. know. It felt much bigger, obviously, when you yeah, were Yeah, when kids, you're younger, you we just... didn't have any context of well, anything that's else. the thing. It's, it's what do you compare it to, you know? Yeah. So, especially when you drive by the school we went to, and it's like, back in the day, it felt like it was massive, and now it's not even yeah. close. So. so, I'm back here in my hometown in Minnesota today, and I wanted to show you kind of the yard that I grew up in here to show you kind of what that looks like. I think we measured it out last year to about 38,000 square feet. So my dad struggles a lot with everything that you would struggle with when you have a yard of that size. So he doesn't always get to, you know, all the fertilizer and doing all that stuff. It just, it takes a lot of work to maintain a yard this big. There's some things here that he's working on a little bit more. It's got mainly just kind of clover weeds and stuff coming in, but other than that, it just needs a little bit more fertilizing and I think it could do a little bit better, but you've got such a large area here that gets full sun. You can kind of see here, there's there, and then we're all the way over here and all the way over here. So large area to work on and a lot of full sun. So the sun's though still pretty powerful here, full sun on cool season. It doesn't like that too much here in the heat of summer. Surprisingly, under these trees here, grass actually looks pretty good and is not really as thin as sometimes you get for really shaded areas. So that part actually looks pretty good and it, without the full sun beating down on it all day, keeps a better color and looks a little bit better overall. I think we're gonna go see if we can find any nice yards in town. Haven't been here for a long time and actually drove around to see kind of what's going on, so it might be kind of interesting.
So now you see why I wear that Minnesota Vikings hat in almost every one of my videos. Minnesota is in my blood and it always will be. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Very nice. Not bad. The real question is, where's your mower? My mower? Yeah, I mean, we got this, but where's your mower? <laughs>